the greatest athletes that we've seen over the last 20 years. This should be quite the debate. The names in which we have listed that we will discuss and rank. We start off in tennis, Novak Djokovic, Serena Williams. We move on to basketball with LeBron James, to the NFL with Tom Brady, to the pitch with Lionel Messi, and last but not least, in the boxing ring, Floyd Mayweather. Um, a lot of greats here. A lot of people who have entertained us for the last two decades. Some people still going on. Uh, very impressive, incredible feats. Going well beyond <laughs> their late 30s. And some people even entering into their 40s and being able to perform at a high level. This one's tough. It's this really one tough. is very tough. Where are you guys thinking? Where are you guys leaning right now? Well, because also, how, how do you define GOAT? Is it greatest athlete or is it global influence? Because you look at these guys, and I mean, Messi stands out to me just from pure global influence. Like, we don't even understand here in the States how big this man is. Did you see when they won World Cup and the the streets were flooded? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what people were doing. They, everybody was out of their homes in the streets for a week. You know, we haven't seen anything like that in the States for any athlete. Mm -hmm. Not Michael Jordan, not Kobe, nobody. Um, but do we talk about rings? Do we talk about championships? Brady has seven. LeBron's not there yet. He's he's not there yet for but me. He has him, longevity. He has, long he has longevity, longevity for sure. And I'm not I'm not saying he can't get there Absolutely. either. He still has time. Well, because listen, I feel like with LeBron, and I think this is where people started realizing, like, okay, he he's in that realm, like discussing him in the same realm as MJ is not as crazy as people made it sound a couple years ago when he became the scoring champion. I, I feel like as you talk about with the level of longevity. He wasn't a guy that went out to go set the scoring record. Like he, he, he took pride in him being a facilitator first. But just because of his his longevity, him continuing to improve on his game, whether it was after the Mavs lost in 2011, working on his low post, working on his game there, going to the Lakers, working on his three pointer, getting slimmer as you mentioned, his 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 ability to continue to move as the game has evolved, to continue to make himself as explosive a player, like that that was a feat I don't think any of us saw would ever come down and somehow. He's been able to surpass Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. But that's how we can also compare. Is it individual athletes because he takes it there? Or do we talk about how Mike won three in a row, took some time off, and then three again? Crazy. Insane. You know what I mean? So Pick no a one's baseball for a hobby real quick. Right. You know, like, <laughs> like, you know some I'm take some time go. off. <laughs> yeah, let me go. I'll dude. be back. <laughs> and then three more chips, you know? Or Floyd Mayweather, who's never lost. Undefeated. Yeah. Undefeated. Yeah. Where, where does Floyd rank in this space I mean, for you? Uh, you? You obviously got to keep Floyd up there. He's undefeated, won all the major titles. You know, he's beat Canelo Alvarez. He's beat the who's who. Um, you know, when you're talking about Messi, I, I feel as Americans, we don't appreciate our athletes like other countries do. Like we just had an athlete um, in mixed martial arts, Ilya Teporia. He just knocked out a homeboy, became the first champion over in Georgia. Whole oh, city, man. everybody was out there. Shout out Georgia, man. I love, I love people from Georgia. They're, they're, <laughs> a, good time. they're a great time. Absolutely amazing. Same thing in Russia. Once I be, became champion, the whole streets are flooded. And I just think that just says how that culture of that side of the world, they're just truly yeah. sports fans. Even in China, when a Chinese become the first mixed martial champion, they're like, oh my God, it's, they get behind to where I feel like us Americans, we got so much other shit going on in our lives that we just don't care as much as they do. So, you know, when you look at a presence for somebody over like Messi, you know, I've seen a lot more athletes have the same type of, uh, recognition over that side of the country. And, you know, LeBron James, you know, he's still playing very active in basketball. You know, he's playing with people's kids now. Yeah, like when that person goes, man, you play with my dad. Scotty Pippen. <laughs> <laughs> you play with my dad. He goes, he goes, oh, man, you going to do that to me? He might play with his own yeah. son. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, right? So that, there has to be something said about his longevity. Serena Williams, absolute legend in, in tennis. So, I mean. Yeah, she's in a league of her own. Though, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Longevity for her as well. I mean. Where's so, Simone Biles on here? Simone has to be up there. Because she I might so. go back to her, what is this, third Olympics? Yeah. Yeah. Which is also unheard of in the gymnastics space because a lot of those girls are done when they're like 20. Oh, which is insane to process. Absolutely. Right. Like you peak at like 18. Yeah. Which and, is, she, and then you're done. Yeah. Right. Like your muscles, they don't. You're you, cooked. You, you, yeah, you're cooked. Like I remember they were saying like as the gymnastics, when they're younger, they're more explosive because their their lacticity in their their not joints, um, tendons are so elastic. As we all get older, it gets tighter and tighter, tighter. So you're not as flexible. So for her to do that, it's amazing. And she's still doing skills that are literally named after hers. They're the Biles. 
you know, that nobody else can even do. And the scoring system has actually been changed a little bit because they can't even keep up with the level of difficulty that she is putting on these certain skills that no other girls have been able to do. So I think she might need to be in this conversation, especially if she performs at this Summer Olympics. Actually, I want to go back and take take it back to Serena Williams because uh, incredibly transcendent, obviously the greatest women's tennis player that we've ever seen. Her longevity, her dominance, her coming back from pregnancies, her winning titles with the baby in her stomach. Like, it's just like things that you try to process that you can't comprehend, especially as a man, to try and understand what it takes physically, mentally, emotionally to try and do something of that caliber. But also, I mean, as a black person, like, I'm going to be honest, I wasn't really watching tennis like that. Um, The Agassiz and the Andy Roddicks, I guess, at the time when I was growing up, but the Williams sisters were really the introduction to tennis. And so, but you see the influence of that. You see the legacy of that when you see the Coco Golfs, when you see the Naomi Osaka's, when you see all these black girls now playing tennis at very young ages and right. some of them having successes as amateurs against uh, professionals in some of these competitions. It's very clearly pointed towards the influence not only Serena had, but also Venus. I do not want to leave Venus out of this conversation because without no Venus, there is no Serena Williams. Yeah. But in terms of just dominance and influence that she had, uh, Serena to me on this list, I, I think stands out. And, and to this day, like no disrespect to Djokovic, because I do respect him, uh, the rep rivalry he had with, with Federer and, and, the and, and the doll, of course. Mm-hmm. Like, it was a beautiful time for men's tennis. My whole thing was, I got so used to watching Serena and Venus play tennis, men's tennis is too damn long. Like, <laughs> like that, that, that was like my only issue with it. And, and like, there's other guys like Alcatraz, I think his name, right? Alcaraz, is it? Alcaraz, um, who I've enjoyed. He, he's had some great... Uh, 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 men's titles w- wins that he's had lately that have slowly got me to open up more to tennis, but I-, I just was able to enjoy the women's game so much, much more, and I still do. And a lot of that, is, of course, is because of the Williams sisters. So for me, in terms of impact, in terms of a sport that I watch as a result of their presence, I think to me, that kind of resembles goat level tenacity or tendencies, and I'd, I'd probably put Serena up there. On, Top three on, on this of- list, go. Mayweather, Brady, LeBron. Okay. Serena, Brady, LeBron. Okay, this is just the last 20 years. I'm going to make that yes. very clear. <laughs> what, what, what was, why are you saying I'm that? I'm going to go, because it's hard to put LeBron in a GOAT conversation without Michael ever. Yeah. So. I'm sure they'll, they'll kill us in the comments. Sure. Yeah, but. Just remember, but it's in 2000. Yes, yeah, so the last we're not, counting, <laughs> we're not counting Wizards MJ here in this situation with Mariah Carey singing and, and her beautiful Wizards oh, outfit. No, that, that's, not, that's not what we're here for. So I'm going to say Braun. I'm going to put Messi in there because I think global impact is something that you just can't, you, you can't not talk about it. Um, and I'm going to put Mayweather in there. I mean, to go undefeated in anything, 50, that's crazy to me. It's, that's so hard to do, um, especially in a 1v1 sport like that where any little slip up can be, you know, your loss. So No, no Brady? Did you have Brady? Yes, I did. You did? I said, I said Mayweather, Brady, LeBron. Okay. I mean, yes, for football, yes, this is a tough list. Like, yeah. I, I want, Ser- like, Serena and Mayweather, to me, are are both there. So, I don't know. It's it's hard to put Brady up there with these guys. I, I just saw Brady walk into the Real Madrid locker room and all those players lost their minds. And yeah. we're talking about the greatest players in the world. The, the influence that Brady has. I know sometimes we look at it just, like, domestically. Seven like, rings is crazy. Okay, so maybe, I, so maybe Brady, Messi, Mayweather. Because seven rings is also us. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Next episode, I can't, I can't decide. Yeah. We had a spirit debate about this. Love to hear what you guys have to think in the comments. This is tough, as we've seen here. Let us know, guys. <laughs> really, as the cards on the ground, <laughs> I might as well throw them on too. We're all done here. Appreciate you guys for watching. Tune in for the next episode of Run It Up. We're out. Bye.